So now let's go and take a look at 2u minus 3b. All right? So to do 2u minus 3b, the first thing we need to figure out is what's going to be 2u. Well, 2u is going to be 2 times i plus j minus 3 times 2i minus 3j. Right? Because we're saying u is that vector and v is that vector. You could also do it as the component form, but for right now, I'm just going to leave it as our linear combination. All right? So we could do it this way. Therefore, we now have 2i plus 2j minus 6i minus or plus 9j. Right? right. Combine like terms. Negative 4i plus 11j. Everybody follow me with that? OK. So let's go and take a look at then what that would look like graphing. All right? And I'm going to do 3 and 2u. So we know that u is 1 over 1. It's not a big vector, right? Then we have v is at 2 comma negative 3. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. OK? So we have u and v. I'm sorry, u and v. Now it says 2u. So to u, we know that now this is going to get doubled, right? Yes? Yes. That is now equal to 2u. And then v gets tripled. So we go over 2, down 3. So then we go over 2 again, down 3. 1, 2, 3. Then we do it again. Over 2, down 3. 1, 2, 3. So maybe not the best one, but you guys can see now we have 3v. So do you guys see how by using my scalars, remember your scalars multiply through, now I have 2u and then 3v. Then what they're asking us to do now is 2u minus 3v. Well, the exact same thing, ladies and gentlemen. We're not concerned about I want to write 2u minus 3v. I would like to write 2u plus 3v. Sorry, 2u plus a negative 3v. Right? So then, how do you do addition? All you do is you take one vector, the initial point of one vector, and add it to the terminal point of the other vector. But we don't need to deal with 3v. We need to now deal with negative 3v. So this is over what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this vector is negative 3v. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add this vector to the end of my vector 2u. And I know I can't get exactly perfectly correct, but what we'll see is negative 4 plus negative 4i plus 11j, which we'll be able to notice right here is that negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, up 11j. Okay, I'm not going to go through that too much, but I'll draw a nice little blue line so we can see our resultant vector, which we already know is at negative 4i. Yeah. Okay. So there's your resultant vector, 2u minus 3v. Yes. So the, I know negative 4i plus 11j is the result term, whatever. But you're, so you're going to plot like 2i plus 2j and then six, negative 6i plus 9j to figure out the result term? Yeah, well, I just combine these together, negative 4i and 11j. So and yeah, you could just graph negative 4, 11 okay. to get your answer. Yeah. I'm also just showing you graphically how that works, just so you have an understanding of it. You're more than likely not going to have to rely on these. But it's important for you to be able to check your answers and know graphically how the vectors relate to each other and also give you a resultant vector. So that was it for number 23.